Hey everyone, so for today's video, I am, excuse me. For today's video, I'm doing another one and done shadow video. So my last one was so successful. You guys really, really enjoyed that video, but I got a ton of comments asking for more budget friendly and affordable picks. So that's what today's entire video is about. I'm going to be walking you through my absolute favorite one and done shadows that are affordable. If you want something super sparkly, if you want something really, really long wearing and matte, there is really something for everyone in this video. So if you do enjoy it make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you like me I would love to have you back so make sure to subscribe as well so let's first start off with what is on my eyes today so I feel like this formula is still a really underrated formula people do talk about it but I just feel like people don't talk about it enough this is the ColourPop super shock shadow and this is the shade cosmic charge and it is an ultra glitter finish oh my gosh look at that there are different finishes throughout the super shock shadow formula so you'll notice that some of them are that really classic kind of putty squishy super shock shadow formula then there are these shades like cosmic charge that are an ultra glitter and really what this is to me is a pressed kind of glitter topper they don't have as much of that squishy true putty texture but what's really beautiful and unique about this formula is that it really melts in the finger in a beautiful way seriously just taking a finger into the product and swiping it onto the lid the glitters really melt into the skin so it's not going to be a really chunky unrefined glittery look there's still like that level of balance and sophistication to the glitter but it still gives that beautiful glossy impact and you can see that there's that rich intensity but it just doesn't look really unflattering there are some kind of glitter shadows that just look really heavy on the lids but because this has that really unique pressed glitter formula that kind of melts into the lid it doesn't look really heavy it won't make the eyes look really dry this to me just feels super luxury like it feels like a formula that I would expect from a $30 eyeshadow. What also makes this a gorgeous one and done shade is that you can see that it actually does have a base pigment to it. So when you fluff it into the crease, you still get that base pigment definition. It's not just a straight glitter. So it really feels like a whole look all together, which basically means this is like such a quick, like model off duty, glossy, glittery look so fast it's absolutely stunning the only thing that sucks about it is that it is difficult to find and they don't keep it in stock often but i did check and it is in stock on ulta right now but yeah this is just ultimate luxury luxuriousness this is absolutely one of my top picks if you really want that ultra glittery look that just has that beautiful shine and creaminess to it and just so so easy yeah i just can't recommend this one enough so this next formula is like my little secret weapon i feel like no one knows about it it's kind of like an underrated product at an affordable price but these shadows are just absolutely incredible they're the ulta beauty matte cream eyeshadows i have them in two different shades so these are essentially a cream liquid shadow that is completely matte so if you're someone that needs a gorgeous just quick matte shade to put all over the crease all over the lid and just get a really simple look that's going to last a long time these are absolutely absolutely perfect for that it is so difficult to come out with a liquid cream shadow formula that's completely matte and also flattering because there are so many that kind of crack off on the lid that make the lid look really dry or they're just not blendable and won't give you a really seamless look. This literally checks every single box that I would ever want out of a matte liquid shadow. So number one, the blend on these shadows is 
effortless. It blends itself, but the pigmentation is also there. So these aren't just like sheer washes of color. You can definitely use a little bit less and get a little bit more of a natural look, but these have rich, beautiful pigment that really is easy to blend and wants to blend. Like it really wants to work with you. These also don't dry down too fast. So if you've been in that situation, like I have where some of the look has already dried down and then you go back in to do some more blending and the shadows end up looking really disjointed and choppy. This does not happen with these, but they do set down to be very, very budge proof. They're not crackly, they're not drying looking. You can use them in a multitude of ways. I personally love just putting them in to the crease to make a more glossy shadow last a lot longer. That's kind of like my secret tip that I usually do, but using them all over the lid on their own, the quality looks fantastic. It gives you the look of a cream shadow, that really beautiful creamy look, but it's going to last longer than a lot of other cream shadows can. Seriously, if you guys have not tried these out already, I cannot recommend them enough. These are absolutely incredible. I do wish that there were more shades, but that's literally the only thing I could think of. And next, another find are the Ulta Beauty Bouncy Cream Shadows. I'm really interested in trying other Ulta products because the fact that I've found two like holy grail items just from their eye range makes me really interested in some of their other formulas. So this formula is definitely similar to the Super Shock Shadow formula. Thin but creamy and they definitely have a little bit more of that squishy texture to them. They also come in a variety of finishes. Some of them have a little bit more glitter like the shade Honeycomb. It's like this army green with a bunch of golden glitter throughout. Maple Pecan is this really gorgeous kind of satin shade. And then they have some of these like sheer pigment shadows with this really beautiful fine glitter throughout. These just make it so easy to get such a pretty, simple, just gorgeous look. It'll give you that really gorgeous kind of wash of color on the lids, but the glitters themselves just add that level of dimension to the look. It's not going to read as a lot of glitter. It almost just reads as like a true reflection on the lids. It just catches the light in such a soft and pretty way. It's really such an effortlessness to the product that it's really impactful. You know when sometimes you look at someone and they do their makeup and it looks like they really didn't try at all, but it's just perfect every time. I definitely feel like these shadows have that kind of je ne sais quoi quality to them, that balance of effortless, but also like you tried a little bit. I love how easy they are to just put a finger into the product, swipe it on the lid, a little bit of mascara and you have like an everyday look that's really effortless, but still perfected. All of these are really just like that kind of simple makeup product that's just really easy to use and easy to love. These do shatter easily. I have mentioned that before, but it doesn't actually affect the formulation. Like it'll still give you the same finish and the same look. So I don't really mind, but yeah, this is absolutely a top pick. Next up we have another classic and what I really feel like is just such an effortless kind of cream shadow product. So we have the Maybelline color tattoo and in specific, we're talking about the shade high roller. What a beautiful, beautiful pot shadow. You know what? I imagine that there are so many people that go into the drugstore or look online and they go for a more affordable palette because there's a lot of choices within a palette and you can create a lot of different looks. But the beauty about a one and done eyeshadow like this is that it just is so easy and the look just, it just creates itself. You don't have to think about it. The look is going to look uh, sophisticated every single time. So this is again, like a potted cream shadow and it's more of a satin color. So you can see it still has that really nice reflection, but there's no glitters throughout here. I think that makes this a really, really versatile shadow. And what I like about this is that it just looks so smooth. The actual formula isn't really a whipped, moussey, creamy formula. It's definitely more on the thin side. And I think that's why 
I find that this lasts a little bit longer than your typical kind of moussey cream shadow. And it's also nice because you could use this as a base product, like an eyeshadow base if you wanted to. Really, to me, I feel like this is just the perfect example of a one and done shadow. It reflects back just enough light. It has just enough definition to it while also looking really light and airy. A shade like this is also really nice because it's not too warm and I don't find it to be too cool either. To me, this shade has such a beautiful balance. It's very reminiscent of Tom Ford Platinum, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Oyster Pearl, these shades that kind of have a pewteryness to them that just looks really flattering. It just has a really nice balance. And these shades are difficult to find in more affordable makeup. If you're looking for that kind of classic potted cream shadow, something that's super easy to just get that really quick one and done shadow look, this is absolutely, absolutely a good find. Another cream shadow that I really, really enjoy is the All May Velvet Foil Cream Shadow, specifically in the shade End Game. This is a gorgeous chocolatey brown shade. By the way, you get a lot of product with this. You get 0.36 ounces. That's more than double than you would get from something like the Maybelline. So this definitely gives you a good bang for your buck. So when this comes out of the tube, it definitely has that kind of classic cream moussey texture, but it's actually much thinner than a lot of moussier cream shadows on the market, which makes it really spreadable and thin, but also a little bit more long wearing. You know, the more emollients that a product has, the less long wearing it's going to be. And I think that this has a really nice balance of giving you that really creamy, cream shadow look on the lids while also lasting a little bit longer. Plenty of pigmentation on this shadow as well. You really don't need much. You can just apply it straight from the finger onto the lid. It looks gorgeously creamy and you can just blend it out so easily. It's definitely a no fuss makeup product. It gives you that really kind of soft, wet, metallic look. It's not like a true metallic. It's not super, super glossy. It's just that perfect kind of soft, wet look. But again, it definitely lasts a little bit longer than those super glossy looking cream shadows. So I just love the balance of this product and it does set down a little bit. So I think that helps contribute to the longevity of the product as well. But it doesn't set down too fast that you don't get the blendability that you want out of a cream shadow. I actually compared this in a video to the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Mona Lisa. And I think if you have more oily lids and you felt like that shadow didn't give you enough longevity, I would just say skip that one and go straight to this one. It gives you a very, very similar look and the shades are super similar. Now, a shadow that a lot of you guys were interested in in my original one and done shadow video was Urban Decay Space Cowboy. And I love that shadow as a one and done shadow because it gives the appearance of like a glossy lid look with a pressed glitter pigment. That really gorgeous kind of sheer pigment with the suspended glitter just gives you that really ultra glossy look to the lids without any gloss. And you know, not many people want to fuss with a gloss on an everyday basis. So I really wanted to try and find an affordable shadow that could give you a similar look to that. And I was able to find one. This is actually a shadow from a K-Beauty brand. This is BBIA. Their cashmere shadow in the shade 01 Cozy Dia. I love K-Beauty because a lot of their shimmers are just really soft. And they're truly like shimmering. They have just a beautiful light reflection quality to them. It's not overdone. It's not too heavy. It just has a general softness and an airiness and a lightness to them. So this is a really soft shimmer with more of a kind of peachy base pigment to it. I will say that the base pigment isn't as translucent as Space Cowboy. That base pigment is truly like translucent. It's very, very interesting, but this still has more of a sheer base pigment. The actual texture is very, very thin. And when you just tap it on to the lids, because the shimmers are so scattered and pretty, it just gives you that little bit of a glossy look once it's applied. It really, really twinkles in a gorgeous way. So even though it's not quite as glossy as Space Cowboy, I feel like this is 
a really good way to play around with a look like that. If you want that just like soft, shimmering, twinkling effect all over the lids, this is just such an easy way to get there. So yeah, those were all of my favorite affordable one and done shadows. And working my way up to doing a full best and worst of affordable cream shadows. And as I keep building my collection of demos, I'm going to eventually do that video. It will be a long one, but I hope that you guys will be excited and happy with it. So if you're excited about that video, definitely make sure to subscribe before you go and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you thought it was helpful. And with all of that, I will see you all in my next one.